Is that a dead guy? Yeah. The answer, which? Cool. No, Dean. Killing the witch was supposed to be the cure, so if he's already dead, then why aren't you... you? Not cool. Okay, what now? Now we get out of here. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Someone in the bar. Is that a dead guy? Yeah. Whoa. Never seen a dead guy before. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have. Trust me. Wait a second. I know it's going to be Rowena. Spells progressed, I see. I wanted intel, Rowena, not a house call. Well, I have a feeling you'll come to thank me. Well, your hair, it's, it's all so bouncy. <laughs> Why, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Do we have to fix him? Rowena. <laughs> Samuel. Those glyphs you found are an archaic mm. form of Celtic, Oyam Ryu. Uh, the druids use it in their rituals, calling it the language of the trees. Wait, wait, now the trees are talking? Uh, Dean, do you remember HBO? Um, Cinemax? Skinemax. Great, all right, come here. We're just gonna, we're gonna sit you down right here. And, uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, just like live uh, Skinemax, or? Hey! Perfect. Just distracting with the telly. With Gideon dead, if you want to break the curse on your brother, we need to find that book. Wait a second, so you can't break it? Oh, well, of course I could, but witchcraft this complex would take time more than Dean's got. He's already begun to forget himself, everyone he's ever known, ever loved. Even you. Soon he'll forget how to speak, how to swallow, and then... Dean Winchester's going to die. Sucks for that guy. He's forgot himself before he's forgot Sam. Interesting. Come on, Sam, you've got this. That's it. This is what nails me. No, 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 no Dean. It, it's not going to happen, all right? Well, you just told me my whole life story. And i got to be honest, man, I, I, I can feel it slipping out of my head. I mean, gagging monsters is one thing, but this... You know what? Well, we're going to... Um, We'll figure it out, all right? We will. How is he? Like you care? Oh. You know, I've seen my brother die, but watching him become not him, this might actually be worse. Okay. My name is Dean Winchester, same as my brother. Yeah. Uh, Mary Winchester is my mom, and Cass, Cass is my best friend. My name is Dean Winchester. My name, my name is... My... My name is, is... Jensen, you're killing me. Man. I don't know. It's okay though, guys. Because Sam is gonna fix this. Touching everything. Sorry. Ugh, here. Play with this and I'll tell you a story. Okay. Once, a beautiful witch, she sought refuge with a family of witches. All she wanted was a roof over her head and a safe place to hone her magic. Yet, they threw her out like, like common trash, said she wasn't up to snuff. Oh, these witches sound like dicks. I think you got plenty of snuff. <laughs> You can really remember nothing, can you? What a gift not to recall the things you've done. What have I done? Oh, you're a killer, Dean Winchester. 
Rowena, be careful. Like, I want to like you. Though you may be a stubborn pain in the arse, with the manners of a Neanderthal and the dining habits of a toddler, everything you've done, you've done for the greater good. Oh, and that's supposed to make it OK? <laughs> I wouldn't know. You help those <laughs> other than yourself. But me, I've done horrible things. And I told myself it was fine. It was the price of power, and power's what matters, right? Then I met God and his sister, the two most powerful beings in the universe, wasting on squabbling with each other. I thought, if, if they can't be happy, or at least satisfied, how can there be any hope for me? Why are you telling me this? Because I know you won't remember. You're in? Shh. Yeah, man. All right. As soon as I get the translation, you cast the spell. Oh, Sam, please be careful. This gun is full of witch killing bullets. So why don't you go to your grimoire and tell me how to break the memory spell? I'm not asking you again. Abby! Well, brilliant. Age nuc intellectum ad quae voluntatum omnem meam. Rowena, do something, please, Rowena. Mm. Your brother's been kidnapped by a witch. Found your stupid car and left you here. Okay. Stay. Stay. Rowena's doing it. Katrina Lochlin. The years have Lachlan. not been kind. Who are you? Rowena. Rowena McLeod. You don't have to do it. You mean swapping your soul for his? I'm afraid I do. You know what they say? Mm. Nothing heals old wounds like opening fresh ones. <laughs> yes, Rowena. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wanted Rowena to kick her ass. I've never been very good at darts. Do over. Just a little girl, raggedy raggedy in. <laughs> a gun? You really think that's gonna work on it? Nice shot. No, no, no. Brother, a witch. No. <laughs> I mean, it's a good job Sam said that and not him. <laughs> So she's got the book that she wanted. Who's this hippie? Is he playing him? <laughs> he was, he's playing him. I knew face. he'd do that. Uh, kind of like that time when I know your Halloween candy. Remember that? Classic. <laughs> and he's got all of his memories back. Oh, Sam. That was a cruel joke right there. <laughs> now, should you experience any odd memories from when you were hexed? Conversations? You let me know? It's blank, mostly. Really. Oh, just a second. If you want to thank me, you can send me a wee gift basket. The book. You're no fun. Well, she just hands that over. You'd think she'd just be like, 
that's my payment. Bye, Felicia. You know, I gotta be honest. I was actually uh, a little jealous at first. <laughs> of what, the curse that nearly killed me? Forgetting everything. Seeing it gone, uh, you looked happy. Huh, well, look, was it nice to drop our baggage? And yeah, maybe. Hell, probably. But it wasn't just a crap that got lost. I mean, it was everything. It was us, it was what we do, you know? All of it. So, that's what being happy looks like. I don't want it. I think I'll pass. It's the, uh, the shiny one. Get in the car. So glad we got to see this scene. Loving life. He was a big puppy dog. It's breaking my heart that every clip we're seeing is smiling. Case in point. Oh guys, this season is crippling me a little bit. <laughs> it is like I said in the last one, there's just something about the tapping into those emotions of just life and just, it's just, yeah. I don't know what to say, it's just emotional. I think that Jensen played that scene when he was looking into the mirror and he was giving everything he had. <sniffs> Chef's kiss right there, like I, I, I felt it, like imagine having that and what's sad as well is that this happens to people like dementia and alzheimer's it's it's a real thing and to think that you would just forget all of these ama amazing memories and everything it's just it's so difficult and i'm around people a lot that have to fight these illnesses and it's it's hard to watch and yeah, Jensen just, he completely nailed that scene. Completely nailed it. And like I said at the end with the little montage, like every clip, he was smiling. We very rarely see Dean smile. So to see that, it, it just, it's hard. It's really hard because I love seeing him smile. But his life is not sunshine and rainbows. It, it's a tough, tough life. Like the hunter lifestyle, as we all know, is rough from start to finish and you usually end up dying on the job and just giving it your all you you can't be half in and half out of a hunter life you've got to be it's all or nothing and these boys definitely give it their all 110 percent seeing sam get emotional at the thought of losing his brother again was really hard to watch Considering again Monster of the Week, we're having a lot of Monster of the Weeks this season, but they're so good that they're keeping my attention and I think a lot of that has to do with tapping into the heart of this show. These characters, these amazing characters and their stories and their histories and everything. And the family dynamic is just really what triggers that raw emotion every time and this episode was no different. Luckily, I didn't need these tissues, but yes, I did get emotional yet again at another episode of Supernatural. They just do it so well. I loved seeing Rowena as well in this one, and her history just seems so sad. Every time we hear about things that she's been through, they always sound sad. It makes me love her even more. And I know that I shouldn't because she's the bad guy, but she just... I think she's misunderstood, guys. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. If you did, please give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe, you know, if you want to. But there's no pressure here. Please remember I had the full uncut versions of these reactions over on my Patreon. There are also extended and early uploads over on there and some exclusive content. So if you're interested, check that out. I have Scam, Lucifer and Pilot reactions over there. 
and yeah i hope to see you all again soon for the next one thank you so much for watching guys bye